Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Fair Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. Uh, I do appreciate it. The uh, beer today is from Treehouse Brewing and that usually means we're going to get a top A beer. Uh, they do their beers very damn well. Uh, this comes to me by the way of Brother Greg and he writes on this one from Treehouse, Never Synergy from Treehouse, the latest in their series of outstanding milk stouts. He got it at the brewery. Uh, most of the stuff comes from them I think you have to get at the brewery. Uh, I don't think they do very much distribution if any at all. So uh, thank you Greg. I do appreciate it my brother. Uh, Usually when I get a treehouse beer from Greg or uh, his contributors, Rob, Brian, Virginia, everybody that helps Greg out getting beer to me and other people that have sent me Treehouse and Trillium and some of those other outstanding New England style beers and even when you get into these stouts, uh, these guys usually do it pretty damn well. Uh, they're, to me, they're, they're better better known for their New England style IPAs and double IPAs but they seem to have figured out how to brew just about everything very very well. So uh, this is a fairly decent size uh, as far as ABV 8.1 percent but there's a lot of stuff out there a lot more ABV out, out in it and uh, this one is mid-range, I would say. It's still uh, an English wheat uh, slash milk stout, so that means they've used lactose in the brewing process, which tends to leave a, a, a little bit sweeter type of taste to the beer because that's an unfermentable sugar, uh, where a lot of the other ones uh, that don't use lactose tends to be more on the dry side and a little bit more on the bitter side. Uh, when you use lactose, uh, so it, the, the yeast can't eat that uh, lactose up and it still lends a nice sweetness to the, the back end of the beer if you like that in your stout. Some people don't like milk stouts. Uh, I do. So, uh, looking at them, uh, they're calling it an 8% here on Untapped and it says 8.1%. So a lot of times, different batches, different year, uh, will have different ABVs. Uh, so, the commercial description on Untapped says, Nervous Energy, we're excited to announce a new addition to our Milk Stout family. Nervous Energy, featuring maple syrup, mmm, cinnamon and vanilla. Nervous Energy aspires to emulate the character of classic French toast, mmm. It pours pitch black into glass and gives off strong aromas of maple, cinnamon, coffee, and whipped cream. The flavor follows suit with all the flavors in balance and nothing overwhelming the palate. It is a pleasant and nostalgic, arousing memories of cool weekend mornings comforted by a rich, carbohydrate-heavy breakfast. A beer fit for the season. We think you will enjoy this beer tremendously and sincerely aspire. I got a little bug flying around in here. I didn't seem to get my hands on his little gnat looking ass. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, that's all we need to talk about. We got the ABV at 8.1. Uh, the Candon date on this one says, uh, Pour me on waffles. Take me to heaven. Uh, Candon 0208 of 19. Uh, today is 3 3 of 2019. So, uh, not quite a month old, pretty getting pretty close to it, three weeks or so. Uh, 
very nice. Uh, these guys concentrate on what's inside the package and the can. They have a bunch of fancy graphic artwork uh, on a printed up can. They just use a plain Jane silver can and put a stick on a label on there so uh, not spending a lot of money on uh, fancy artwork that's uh, going to be either thrown away or recycled. So that's all we need to talk about. So let's get this big 16 ounce can opened up. Get it into the glass and see what we got. I'm usually very impressed with what these guys do. Oh man it is pitch black coming out. We're going to go down the center on this one. I mean that looks like used motor oil coming out of the can there. A lot of people will just freak out when they see that. Oh my god, I can't drink that nasty stuff. Don't be afraid of the dark. About a finger of rich brown khaki colored head on that. Over to the light. I'm not seeing any at all guys. It is pitch black. It is dark, dark, dark. Good looking beer. Very nice creamy looking khaki colored head on top of that beer awesome to the nose we go rich roasted small smalt malt hint of some cinnamon in there am i getting maple and waffles and maybe a little whipped cream maybe a little black molasses very nice sweetness to the back end and a hint of some coffee this smells very very nice awesome aroma on the spear guys wow wow i said wow smells awesome let's dive in cheers everybody cheers greg wow wonderful aroma Oh my God. That is a very nice dessert beer. You could actually have this for breakfast on the weekend if you're not working or if you have a different shift and you get some days in the, in the week at your own. It would be a great breakfast beer to go with your waffles and, and uh, maple syrup, whatever you're pouring that on. Very nice, very sweet. Just remember it's an 8.1 percenter don't know if i'd want to drink this and go to work some of you young bucks might be willing to take that challenge just be careful if you're drinking this and then you're driving mm, not a good idea mm. that is so balanced alcohol is super well hidden which is usual for these guys at Treehouse. They, they know how to do that. They really, really do. Doesn't seem boozy or heavy alcohol at all. Very smooth and easy drinking for an 8.1%. Wow, that is awesome. And like I said, guys, uh, these guys up there, the head brewer at Treehouse knows how to make a outstanding beer. No doubt about it, whether it's an IPA, double IPA, or stout. Awesome head brewer there. Two thumbs up to the guy or gal that's doing the brewing up there. You make some outstanding beers. I'm just so sad that I can't get these beers here where I can go buy them. I have to rely on Greg and a lot of others uh, to send me these beers from you guys. I wish I would be able to expand your brewing where you might be able to do some distribution and not have everything brewery release. Uh, uh, and hopefully with everything you're producing as outstanding as they are that day will come so uh, I'm looking forward to that and hopefully I live long enough to see that uh, this is an awesome beer guys we're gonna get the last of what's in the can into the glass I don't think it could possibly change the appearance any at all as dark as that is I want to get every drop out of this can I don't want to leave anything in there all right, guys, uh, we're going to sip on this for probably close to an hour uh, and sip on it and savor because now that I'm not able to drink uh, as many beers as I used to being uh, on the diet, uh, and these, these beers are heavy in calories, uh, uh, I'm limited to one or two a day. Uh, so uh, 
I try to savor those beers nowadays. But we're still working on it. We're down 30 pounds now since December the 4th. Very impressed with that. But I am paying that price with the the, the awful diet that I'm having to do. Uh, one meal a day, a bold egg in the morning. And uh, uh, usually have a, a, a lunch, which is usually consists of some kind of chicken or fish or something like that. And then a bowl of salad for dinner. So I am paying that price, and uh, but we're getting there. It's a slow process. I didn't gain all this weight overnight, and I'm not losing it overnight, but we're working hard on it, and down 30 pounds since December the 4th, which is 30 pounds in two months, January, well, three months, basically. December 4th, January 4th. Tomorrow will be the 4th of March. So uh, it's a slow process, but if we're, if we're working on it and getting there. So... That being said, we're going to sip on it for a while since it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees, and see if it opens up and we get some additional flavors or stuff on that, and we'll come back and do the final chug. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on about 45 minutes or so off some beer, guys. Uh, the only way I'd say this could probably be better at all if they put it in a, some kind of barrel, bourbon barrel, brandy, rum, something like that. Other than that, it is an outstanding beer. It is very, 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 very well made. Uh, awesome to me. Outstanding, world class. Uh, now that it's warmed up, I'm getting cinnamon. I'm getting hints of vanilla. The maple is there. Uh, the sweetness is there. Uh, maybe a hint of vanilla or marshmallows in there. A little bit of coffee. Uh, rich roasted malt. Uh, nice sweetness to the back end with the lactose being used in the brewing. Uh, it's absolutely outstanding, guys. Uh, and these guys do that very well. They know how to make an outstanding beer. Uh, I don't think I've had anything from those guys that's not been in the A category. Uh, and this is no exception. So you guys in that neck of the woods that can, that can go by the brewery and pick these up, you consider yourself very, very lucky. Uh, and guys that uh, that can trade for these beers from some people, uh, consider yourself very, very lucky because these are outstanding beers. No matter whether it's an IPA, a double IPA, or a milk stout, uh, they are brewing these things very, very well, and they're awesome, guys. I just wish they were available here. I hope someday they'll get big enough where they can distribute some of their beers, and we'll get them here. I hope I live long enough to see that happen, because I will be buying them. Uh, once again, Greg, thanks so much, my brother. Awesome beer. Absolutely awesome. It's such a pleasure to drink the beers from these guys. They are exceptional. They are galaxy class, not world class, they're galaxy class. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I absolutely love beers from Treehouse. They do it very well, guys. Follow each other. What an awesome beer that is. I wish they would probably uh, take some of these and throw them in a bourbon barrel. I don't know if they do any kind of bourbon barrel stuff out there. I don't know how big their brewery is. I've never been there. If they had room to do that, that would be an awesome. And I think they make like three different versions of this from what I've seen. Uh, but it would, that would be an, an exceptional beer if it had a little bit of bourbon notes going in. And then you can always throw a jigger or some kind of bourbon, whatever you like to drink in there. If you wanted to kick it up that notch or 12. <clears throat> but it is awesome. For what it is, it is outstanding, guys. It is world class. It's a 10 for me. It's a 10 plus for me. It's an 11 on a scale of 10. Uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, so well made beer. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 4.44 out of 5. Awesome numbers from those guys. They call it outstanding, and I agree with that 100%. Over to Untapped for our final check-in on this beer. They have it at 4.39. Again, awesome numbers. Not the best I've seen from those guys, but pretty close. Uh, it is a 10 beer, guys, no doubt about it. Especially if you like uh, 
the style of beer, uh, an imperial stout, milk stout, sweet stout. Some people don't like sweet stout. They like something that's got a little more bite to it. I do. I like both. Uh, but it is a pleasure to drink this. Uh, the beer is so balanced and the alcohol is so well hidden. Uh, awesome. It's absolutely outstanding, guys. So if you've had this from a Treehouse, this is called their Nervous Energy. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.